I want to thank President Donald Trump. Uh, he believes in the rule of law. He believes in protecting the American people from crime and violence. He believes in a lawful system of immigration that serves the national interest. And within bounds, those are things that may, from time to time, come before the Office of Attorney General. Uh, Jeff Sessions officially submitting his resignation last night as Alabama senator. He will be sworn in today as the nation's top law enforcement officer under the Trump administration. The question this morning, who will replace him in the Senate? CBS 42 News reporter Britt Moore live in our digital newsroom this morning. Britt, good morning. All right, good morning to you. We know this morning Governor Robert Bentley is expected to announce Jeff Sessions' replacement right now. There are a few names on the list. Let's take a look at some of those names. Most of these names have been rumored alongside current State Attorney General Luther Strange. The short list includes Congressman Robert Adderholt, Senate Pro Tem Del Marsh, State Representative Connie Rowe, former State Rep Perry Hooper Jr., and ADACA Director Jim Byard. Now, political analysts Steve Flower says the fact that Governor Bentley may choose to appoint Luther Strange is questionable, especially since Strange is leading the investigation into possible wrongdoings by the governor. I'll let Alabamians draw their own conclusions as to whether they think that's collusion, but it has the appearance of collusion and it almost has the appearance of audacity. Now, whoever is named this morning will serve the remaining two years of Sessions' term. Ahead in the next half hour, though, which of the finalists for the vacant Senate seats stand out the most? Steve Flowers breaks it all down for us. For now, live in the digital newsroom this morning, Britt Moore, CBS 42 News. Britt, thank you.